What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody here for another exciting video. Before we jump into it, obviously, we're ripping some tenders, contenders, 2023 football blasters. A uh, couple updates. Board, 14 to 14. If you're wondering, we are doing a chase for case hits. First one to hit, 15 case hits, get a pick, gets to pick a hobby box of their choosing to rip right here on the channel for you guys. Also, uh... Let me just do look. Oh, let me go this way. Let me just do a little, uh, a little, just a little. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Yes, sir. That is a card, my friends. That is a card in the basket. Uh, I made it happen. Let me just pan this um, back to where we need to go here. Made it happen. Got it done last night. If you joined the show, you would have saw it. It was uh, it was electric. It was electric to say the least. A lot of fun though. Made it. Gave away a little autograph for the people. So uh, good times. Kelsey saw it. She is now. Um, she knows. She's verified. People were saying too we should sign it and then send it off to PSA and get it slabbed up, which I think is a phenomenal idea. So I'm just gonna keep it in the basket. Until Kelsey comes back, we'll pull it down, do a little signage, and then we'll send it in. But today, we are going to be ripping some of the new contenders, 2023 football blasters. And from what I heard from a lot of people, this product last year was really not great. Um, you really were just looking for a card, uh, but they beefed it up this year. And I will kind of explain exactly what I mean by that. So... First thing they did is they actually now have rookie base cards. So you can pull a CJ Stroud rookie base card out of this product where I think in years past that wasn't the case. They had inserts or they had his autograph, but obviously CJ doesn't sign a Panini, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. So now you can actually pull rookie cards out of people, uh, for people. So for those collectors, um, I think that is a nice little chase for everyone. And then also we're looking at one auto or mem. Now I heard that the ratio is about one to two autos per 20 boxes. I don't know, again, this is just hearsay. This is stuff I'm hearing in the industry. I don't know if anyone has actual data, let us know. But that is what I heard. The other things they added, um, a couple other kind of ultra rare inserts, license to dominate crown jewels. Those are new, I think as well. They also have seven inserts and pa or parallels per box on average. And then on the back here, you can see it is a very, very small, uh, not very small, but a smaller set, 302 card set, 160 rookie tickets, 100 season ticket retail, and 42 ricket, uh, rookie tickets RPSs. And then you can see here, you can hit uh, game day, game ticket blues to 499. Um, what else do we have in here? We have rookie variation opening kickoff tickets. Uh, there's the license to dominate and permit to dominate as well as a superstars die cut. That might be really cool to see. We've got some other number cards down here. And you can get the rookie ticket swatches autographs number to 25. That's going to be really, really nice. But I think what everyone is after are those rookie ticket autos. That is what we're looking for. Um, and that's what we're going for. We're going to see if we can hit an auto. We opened up a couple of these last night on whatnot and did not hit any autos. So hopefully we can get, I got six boxes. These are retailing right around 27 with tax, probably that $30 to 35 bucks. I think they're still on Target's website if you are interested in picking these up. But this is going to be the design. I actually like the design of these. I think they are different. They are paper cards too, just keep in mind that. But I think the design is different enough from all the other things. I think they stand out to me. And the, the rookie ticket autos are very desired by, um, by a lot of collectors. So uh, I think we also are going to have the spin zone here with every other card. And that's a nice little Brock Purdy there. We'll take that. I think my camera just froze, but uh, hopefully you got to see those cards. I don't know when it did freeze. But we pulled a Puka rookie ticket patch with a Kyler Murray behind it. So very nice there, Puka. We will take that for sure. One of the better rookies in this class. 
Let me grab some, what is it, 79s maybe? 79 point? Yeah. Fit perfectly. All right, very nice there. We'll take it. Next one here. And we're going to be doing a lot of ripping today, boys. A lot of ripping. So sit back, enjoy, and we'll see. Uh, I'll fly kind of through the base. And this is a puka box. This is a puka box for sure. We'll take another one here. I'll fly through the base here a little bit. But we are looking for the little RC badges in the top left-hand corner. That is going to be on the red. David Carr there on the red. Stetson Bennett. Murray. Watt. I think they are pretty hard to hit, though. Quinton Johnston and Jordan Addison there. Very nice. I might even sleeve these up after the fact, honestly. Because this video might take way too long if I sleeve. So we'll probably just fly through and I'll sleeve after the fact. Unless it's an absolute monster, then I'll sleeve it right then and there. And that's a draft class. So this is what I think a lot of people thought the rookie card was going to look like. Um, but you actually do have a rookie base card. That is just an insert for the draft class. We have season tickets and game tickets as well. I don't think there's going to be really too much difference between the two. We're finishing with David Carr. So a lot of new faces also in this set. Haven't really pulled that much David Carr out of any of the products that we've been ripping recently. So definitely not any David Carrs on inserts. You know, if we are pulling David Carrs, it's just a base. This is a base bet card. It's not an insert or anything. So we are going to see some new names and some of the inserts, which is nice. Nice change of pace, not seeing all the same players on every single insert. Henry Burrow there. And that is going to be a Bijan. Okay, so we are so far two for two when it comes to hitting Mims, but on two of the top rookies. So number one rookie wide receiver and number one rookie running back. So we will not complain at all. And there is a Jalen Hyatt behind it. It'll be interesting too to see if the Mims are always going to be in the first pack. They have been in the first two boxes. So far, there's another Purdy, Jimmy. It's going to be a draft class of Keyshawn Johnson and a Zay Flowers behind. All right, a little Zay action. What are you guys' thoughts on this? I, I know a lot of people are kind of hit or miss with it. Um, Hobby Box, I will probably rip one. The price, I think, talking to... Um, Andy from Acme Packs. There's a J JSN. Talking from a to Andy from Acme Packs, he was saying that the, he thinks the price is a little high for the hobby box for contenders. But we'll rip one here on the channel just so you guys can kind of see and make the decision whether or not you want to uh, you want to rip it or not. Elijah Higgins and uh, who's that? Tanner McKee. So round round six, two guys in round six. Is what that insert's gonna be. We pulled a nice one. There, there's a couple nice ones from like round one and stuff of two like top rookies, which is cool. Those guys, not so much. And there's a nice Bijan on the draft class. All right, so we are pulling. A lot of these will also be up on our eBay, guys. So if you wanna go check that out, we have a couple auctions ending tonight and ending on Sunday. So link for that is in the description down below if you wanna go look and see if there's any cards on there that you want to add to your collection. We do appreciate all the support as always. I was just talking to Sage too about baseball. Uh, we actually are going to do a baseball video for sometime this week. We're going to film it tomorrow, but uh, I don't know if it'll come out tomorrow. And then, you know, whenever I end up getting out to Vegas, that's when Sage will go through the training and then we can actually start breaking some baseball as well. Cause I know there's a bunch of people Bunch of interest uh, from people wanting to. Oh, and look like that. See, it blends in so much. There we go. Little season ticket. Will Levis. That's what it looks like. It just got the little badge right up there. And uh, it blends in, so you definitely kind of have to try to pay attention. I almost, even though I was kind of looking for it, um, the upside downs. There's another David Carr. The upside down kind of makes it a little bit harder because I'm not looking in the same spot. I have to kind of bounce my eyes back and forth. But um, yeah, that's what you're looking for just in the first 
you know, seven or eight cards. Ooh, is that double? Ooh, 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 what a pack. What a pack. A little CJ Stroud followed up by a Will Levis, Tajay Spears, rookie ticket. Dual patch there. Very nice. Um, not from any specific game or event. So we didn't get that. We didn't get that fixed in this product, but still very nice. And we got that rookie stallions, CJ Stroud on the back. So definitely our best pack and probably the best box so far. First box was kind of meh. This is gonna be round four. Aiden O'Connell. Oh, we have a number card. We have a number card. Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker. Is this not numbered? Am I crazy? Oh, it's not numbered. What is this? Um, what is this? Season ticket. Huh. Game ticket, opening kickoff ticket. Red, bronze. Huh. I don't see anything uh, with this. And there is no, there is definitely no number on it. I, I've looked a couple times. But that is a cool looking card. For uh, any Justin Tucker collectors out there, that is a cool looking card. Nice to kind of mix it up, like I said. All right, Dak Prescott. Did you guys see uh, Barstool, or part of my take, they put out their top quarterbacks uh that's gonna be a hidden hooker and they had deck Pre Dak prescott at 17 as uh they listed all the quarterbacks in the nfl and they they had deck prescott 17 there was a lot of a lot of upsets cowboys fans but uh all right so that's the red this is this reminds me a little bit of absolute where yeah it's a game ticket but the only difference kind of is that coloring right there it's very difficult to tell and that's a cool little Peyton Manning there. Peyton Manning on the draft class. Okay. All right, we're into our, what is this, third box now? How many boxes are we doing? Six? Five? Six? I think we're doing six. We're in our third one. This one looks like someone was trying to grab the cards out from the bottom. All right. Let's see what we have in this one. And these were all um, these were all in orders of uh, three, so just random orders. I think I got like ten orders or something. So um, I just grabbed a couple of these. So they are kind of mixed up. Lucas Van Ness, Mozzie Smith. So if you do get a case of these blasters, that is where I think you are like guaranteed um, a rookie ticket auto in one case not guaranteed but you know panini a little michael mayer there for the raiders all right three more packs in this box it does make you kind of got to go a little slow through there because you just don't know uh that is bo jackson okay bo jackson there I, I wish these weren't upside down because then you could kind of just shuffle through real quick and just see the top right. It's going to be Josh Downs. Josh Downs there for the Colts on the rookie ticket. Followed up by Jaden Reed, rookie Stallions. And last pack. So we are so far four for four when it comes to MIM cards. Four for four. And I think we've only pulled one rookie. Hinton Hooker, Tyler Scott, and Roshan. We've only pulled one rookie card that will Levis. Um, I'll have to go back and check just to make sure I didn't miss any after the video's done. But I'm pretty sure that's it. So pulling pulling a CJ Stroud is going to be very tough. It's gonna to be very tough because we're we're now opening our fifth, our four, we've gone through four boxes. Uh, five packs per box, so um, 20 packs. 
No, four, yeah, 20 packs, and we've only seen one rookie ticket base card. So those are not popping out of these boxes by any means. By any means. Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith, okay. Nice little double Eagles there. That's going to be nice for an Eagles fan. All right. Let's see if we can get a little CJ Stroud base. Come on. Oh, well, might as well see if we can do back-to-back. -back. Hopefully it doesn't knock off the one that's in there already. Oh, just a little short. Okay. Tried it for the people. Okay, so game ticket. Yeah, so game ticket is going to be a little bit more rare too. Luke, it looks like the game ticket is going to be like the very last one as well. Russell. Miles Sanders. Kenny Pickett. Miles Garrett. Who is that? Oh, it's Billy Sims. I thought that might have been Barry Sanders. I don't think I've ever pulled a Barry Sanders card. Um, other than Sage, which you know, you kinda you kinda wanna puke a little bit when you do that. Wow! Okay, bang, bang. Braden Willis. Not the guy we're looking for, but Braden Willis on the that whatever that card is, with the little auto there. Wow. Okay, we got one. That is sick. That is what you're hunting for. I'm glad we got one so we could show you guys. That is what we're hunting for right there. I mean, that is a sick card. I got to be honest. Now, it isn't on card. I thought these were going to be on card. So, I'm a little confused by that. And there's my boy AOC on the back. A little confused by the uh, sticker there. So if anyone has any information on that, maybe it's not all get. Ooh, and there we go, Bryce Young, right off the top. Okay, so two five boxes. We've hit two two rookies in five boxes, and it looks like I guess the rookie will be the first card because it was the first, Will Levis was the first card in the other box as well. Never mind. Never mind. Bang bang. We got him. Wow. All right, so you can pull multiple rookie. What a box. Holy cow. Auto, CJ Stroud, absolutely loaded box. Incredible. Love to see it. Still got more here. I'm assuming it's probably just going to be some sort of uh, insert in the back. Okay, Stetson Bennett, Jay Kaner, both rookie quarterbacks. And an Eli Manning. Wow. All right, that was definitely the box, best box. So we've seen kind of where the low-end boxes look like, and we've seen where the uh, high-end boxes look like. I have no idea how much those Strouds are going for. I'm assuming they gotta be going for quite a decent amount because this is a new product. New product always is a little bit more expensive right away. And also, it is actually gonna be tough to hit that Stroud rookie, right? Three rookies in... Three rookies in uh, five boxes. So, going to be a little bit tougher than some of the other products that we've opened this year where, you know, it's, it's rolling out tons and tons of rookies. I guess the class might be, the set might be a little bit smaller, obviously, but you can probably do the, the numbers and see which one is uh, more easy. All right. We're still moving and shaking. We got another Will Levis. We'll take it. Another Will Levis there. Very nice. Uh, Jordan Love, Sam Hubbard, Drake, Baker, and Michael Vick. Michael Vick on the contenders. All right. Moving on. Three packs left. If you guys have made it this far, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully, I see you guys in the show tonight. We're going to start at 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be ripping some contenders. We've got Optic. Obviously, we got some hobby boxes in the back as well. So it should be a fun and good show. Hope to see you guys there. Derrick Henry. Oh, is this Stroud? Was that JSN? Zay Flowers. Okay. Zay Flowers. Way off. Samsonite. Two packs. 
Uh, Mim or Otto still on the table here. Haven't hit either one. Burrow, Waddle, Ritter. There's another Purdy. Love getting Purdies. Wow. Okay, so two autos in six boxes. Not bad. The autos we got, I don't think are great. Um, neither one are big name rookies. Honestly, neither one are really rookies that I feel like have much. I mean, Eli Ricks, I, this is the first time I've ever pulled this guy. And I think our other auto, that was the first time I've ever pulled uh, Braden Willis. So it'll be interesting to kind of see what you guys pull from this. And oh, look at that. We'll take that though. Anthony Richardson, Will McDonald. Yes, sir. First look at Anthony Richardson here. But it'll be interesting to see what is the, the auto checklist. Like who do they have signing in here? Do they have a bunch of those guys signing? And they have maybe 50 autos from AR. Like what is what is the um, you know the ratio? Let's see if we can get another rookie in here. Nope, but we did get a Will Levis and a Bryce Young Red to finish it. All right, what a box. Those last two were great. First four, I think, were all okay. N none of them were like absolutely garbage, I don't think. Uh, we got good mims in pretty much all the uh, mim boxes. The autos, honestly, I, I think you might, you might be better off getting a CJ Stroud mim than a auto that we just got right so you kind of weigh your points it's kind of similar to when they were like throwing out a whole bunch of um points panini points for the rookies and stars boxes and people were really getting upset there was a lot of autos out of that that you actually probably would be better off getting 300 panini points or 400 panini points now we don't want to pull panini points i'm not advocating for that but all I'm saying is if you're going on a value basis, you're probably better off uh, in this instance not getting an auto and trying to get an Anthony Richardson mem card or a Bryce Young or a CJ Stroud Puka mem card. Um, you're probably better off with that than what we just did there. But hopefully you guys liked it. Contenders, I will say, fun rip. Keeps you on your toes. Gotta have to you know, sort through the first couple. You can't just fly, fly, fly through the that base. So I actually don't mind that. I just wish they were uh, all going the same direction. But other than that, pretty sweet. Look forward to ripping more of these tonight. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. It's completely free. Make sure you guys like the video. Drop us a comment. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep ripping the packs.